All right, video number two. How to replace cam bearings on an LS motor without removing the motor from the vehicle or removing the crankshaft or rods, pistons, any of that stuff, just like this. First of all, you have to have access all the way through the front to get the long tool in there. So if you can't do that, you're out of luck. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, but you should be able to get nice straight access to the cam. So you got to remove radiator, AC condenser, whatever. And you got to get the, the oil pan has to come off. There's no way around that. Hopefully you've got a way to get your oil pan off. This one's not too bad. And then getting the cam bearings out are easy. You can do all of them except for the back one, unless you can figure out a way to pull the cam bearing forward somehow. There might be a little tool you can invent or something to get in there and pull it forward that you could do all five. If not, you can only do four of them. And generally, the back bearing is usually pretty good anyways. Usually have failure on like one, two, or three or something. Usually one. One's really easy. Um, on the, this motor, in case, the number two bearing walked out. So I'm going to replace number two and number one. Because you have to replace everything in front of the bearing that you're replacing. Anyways, you just get your little cam bearing remover installer tool tap the number one from the front tap it all the way in it'll fall out right about here you can pull them out and then number two number three etc and then to put them back in you have to get the crankshaft in this orientation right here where you've got the counterweight on this side and the connecting rods on this side so you have a nice shot straight up into the camshaft area and in this case this is number or on the second set of pistons right here so between number two and number three cam bearing this is where we would be doing number three with with the crank in this position you're gonna get yourself a little pen magnet like this. Uh, it's kind of hard to do here. Bear with me. You're gonna get your cam bearings. The orientation, you can see the oiling holes like that and like that. This is an old bearing. They're gonna be facing down equally on the bottom like that. So you've got a mark on the bottom. See that little mark I put on there? That mark is going to face the bottom. As you can see, the, the oil galley right there. Okay, and we're going to take the pen magnet, bam, attach it to that. And go right up in here. This is very easy to do with two people. It's hard to do with one. You're gonna shove this right up in there. Twist it. Without your magnet getting stuck to everything. Twist it. And go right up into the cam right there, or the, the area where you're gonna have to run the tool through the front. You'll set this on the tool. You'll spin it and get your black line lined up. Once it's on the tool, and then you can tap it through from the front. So, like I said, it's really easy if you've got two people. One person can hold the cam bearing up in there, and the other person can run the tool in from the front, and then you can start tapping it in. And obviously, if we were here between two and three, we would be doing number three. And then you'll rotate the crank to the same orientation and do number two. And then number one is obviously really easy. It's right there in the front, you just tap it in. I'll do a video number three 
after I get the two cam bearings popped in and then I'll show you 